back from the break. On today's InfoCos segment, we will take a gander at the life of one of the pioneers of Ghana's independence and its first president, Osajefo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Osajefo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was born on 21st September 1909 and grew up in a village called Nkrofol in the western region in the then Gold Coast. After graduation from Achimota College in 1930, he started his career as a teacher at Roman Catholic Junior Schools in Elmina, Axim, and at a seminary. Increasingly drawn to politics, Nkrumah decided to pursue further studies in the United States. He attended Lincoln University in Pennsylvania in 1935 and upon completion in 1939, obtained a master's degree from Lincoln and from the University of Pennsylvania. Kwame Nkrumah traveled to London to get his doctorate in anthropology at the London School of Economics. In 1945, Kwame Nkrumah was nominated to be the West African Secretariat's General Secretary. Later on, he was chosen to serve as the Pan-African Federation's Regional Secretary, where he oversaw the 5th Pan-African Congress. In 1947, he went back to Ghana and met Dr. J.B. Dankwa, who encouraged him to become a member of the United Gold Coast Convention. Later, he broke away to found his own party, the Convention People's Party. He was later sentenced to three years in prison at Accra's Fort James Jail. Despite his absence, he won a landslide victory in 1951, which led to his release on February 12th. This was the commencement of many a great feat and activism towards the independence of the Gold Coast, which was finally obtained on the 6th of March 1957. He became the first president of the Republic of Ghana in 1960. Nkrumah's futuristic vision for Africa was demonstrated by his avant-garde projects in his own nation, Ghana, including the Adome Bridge, the Akosombo Dam, the self-sufficient industrial city of Tema built around the Tema Harbor, and the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Kumasi just to mention a few. In 1966, however, he was overthrown by a military junta. In April 1972, while in Romania, Kwame Nkrumah passed away from prostate cancer. for today's episode of Edge News 360. Catch you same time next week. My name is Comfort Aunt Eteteria.